Uh, Dignity by Design is a project that we set up with funding from the Health Foundation to involve corporate staff from estates and quality improvement functions to work together with frontline staff in designing new healthcare facilities. We adopted ideas from industrial engineering, change management, lean thinking and product development to basically facilitate an involvement process in which those groups of staff could work together to design new or refurbished healthcare buildings or facilities. We entered the events, three day events. Um, I had the pleasure of setting out the, the overall vision and goal of a patient centric uh, state of the art endoscopy unit uh, to try and future proof us for about five, ten years in terms of increasing demand, but also to try and centre around the processes with the patient mostly in mind to make it as good an experience for them as possible. Prior to the event, we were lucky enough to get some patient involvement and they came along to the event as well and it was like gold dust listening to the patients. We thought we knew uh, everything there was to know about our service and listening to patients giving their perspective on what was important to them was absolutely invaluable and sometimes it wasn't what we thought was important. The sister usually comes to take you to the changing room and you get, you're given the basket, you're given the, um, the robe, you put your clothes in the basket, sit in the robe for several minutes um, you tend to be in the changing room with, with one or two other people and then the walk down the corridor to go to get the camera uh, carry on um, with a gown that can be too small, especially if you're a bit big like me, um, your backside tends to hang out the back and it's, uh, it's a bit embarrassing. Um, I've been to endoscopy three times for procedures um, and have had big stomach problems and uh, have found it quite a trying experience and to be involved in something that might make things easier from the point of view of the patient will make uh, would make things much better. Um, I think that the, big, the major difference for patients in the new department is going to be how the threat from a privacy and dignity point of view in the old department, everything was very, very open, um, and as you can imagine, some of the endoscopy procedures we carried out are quite private. Um, coming into the new department, the patient will only see what's applicable to them, um, and the patient pathway that's been designed through the department is their pathway. They'll be brought into their own individual suite where they've got their own private facilities, loom, um, hand, wash hand basin, They'll be taken from there straight into the treatment room and back into their own individual suite for their aftercare. Um, once they're recovered and they're ready to go home, there's actually a separate entrance, so, sorry, a separate exit to get out of the department. So they're not even going to see the patients who are waiting to come in and vice versa. So the privacy and dignity aspect of the care that we're going to be able to deliver in the new department is a thousand percent better than the care we're delivering now. We worked together with the architects in our experience. We actually had three architects heavily involved from day one. And on the first day, for example, one of the comments from the architects was that they had got more done in one day than in six months working with the estates team from the hospital. So this was very advantageous to us. At a workshop such as this, it's magnificent because we can get all the right people in the room at the same time and everyone buys in to the same idea which develops a brief from which we develop a scheme. We all thought it couldn't be done at the beginning of the week, redesigned from start to finish in five days, just unbelievable, but it, it was amazing how quickly um, we managed to start producing some of the drawings initially then building the small scale models and then building the actual life size pods um, and treatment rooms and testing out the flow 
of, for the patients, testing out the flow of the equipment, making sure that everything um, would fit from a, a JAG point of view. We worked out that if you had to keep processing the patient back to the waiting room, from the waiting room to the, to the processing unit, back to the waiting room, off to the point, I've gathered my um, experience from being a businessman. And, the less walking about you've got to do, the quicker the job gets done. And this would apply equally well to endoscopy. The project's been very successful overall in terms of both delivering benefits to patients and staff through the pilot projects we've run, but also I think in shaping a participative lean design process that can be utilised by others to design new hospitals or refurbishments that I think going forward, I'm optimistic, will help us to, to build better healthcare.